New details now regarding Rhode Island's troubled computer benefit system now that the state's Health and Human Services Secretary, Elizabeth Roberts, has resigned. At a press conference today, Governor Raimondo expected uh, to update us on UHIP and tell us about the steps moving forward. I'm News reporter Julianne Pixota live in the newsroom now with more. Elizabeth Roberts is the third senior official to resign in recent weeks over the botched UHIP rollout. In a statement, Roberts said she would continue to support the administration both during and after the transition to new leadership. The UHIP benefit system cost the state $364 million, and more than 300,000 Rhode Islanders rely on it. The system has been plagued with problems since its rollout five months ago, from long lines to technical issues. Now the Health and Human Services Department is without a leader after Roberts handed in her resignation yesterday. In an interview with Eyewitness News, the governor praised Roberts for helping bring Rhode Island's uninsured rate to one of the lowest in the nation. But she added it's time for a fresh set of eyes. We have some serious challenges and I agree that it's time for new leadership because we have to fix this and we have to deliver for Rhode Island and we're going to do that. And as mentioned, the governor is holding a press conference later today to release the findings of a 30-day assessment of UHIP. Coming up in about 30 minutes, I'll tell you about another meeting happening today that looks to address this troubled benefit system. Live in the control room, Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News.